If you want to become a successful YouTuber in 2018, 2019, you just have to. Good day, Donation. Welcome back into another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Mark Donor. Welcome to my crazy life. Hit that subscribe button. Punch it in the face. Because we're pop, pop, popping off. Yo, so I just got over to Encino. You know, I live in Hollywood, and I'm at my boy Stanage's house. I haven't seen him in quite a long time. But I can tell things are going well for him because he's got a nice Porsche. It may not match up to my beautiful Harley Davidson, though. Oh, oh. You guys have probably all heard his music. Yeah, he's got the voice of an angel, so let's get those Angelica tunes going. Hey, is this my boy? What about the song that I'm playing in the background? Wait. Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta? Why you gotta play my music? I just played your music. Did you? Yes. You're gonna put the link in the bio. Yeah, of course. The new pad and the most important thing on the TV right here. That's Mark Donor on 83 inches. Honest opinion though, from a real singer. Wait, turn this on. Honest opinion from a real singer with an angelic voice. How did I do? You crushed it. Thanks, bro. I know. You don't gotta tell me. I just needed those brownie points. I think that the only thing that you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Damn, look at that. Five million views, guys. Woo! Okay, so after that, I was gonna give you a house tour, but we just went and ate, and then I had a phone call, and now he has to go to a meeting. We just shot the shit for a little bit and caught up because we haven't seen each other in such a long time. I'm gonna head back home now. Thankfully, I get to ride on my baby. Oh, I'm talking about the Harley this time. But we did talk, and you guys saw in my last vlog, I am looking to move into a house. He's, he's making it really, really convincing to get a house. Problem is, it took me like, I'm sorry. Just ate. It took me like 30 minutes to get here from where I live now. So, you know, we'll just have to find a place to, I'll see you at home. George! Hey, what's yo, up? what are you doing? Nothing, I'm just hanging out with Brandon. Why? What the? Brandon, what are you doing? I'm just hanging out with Greg. Greg, what the? What are you doing? Just holding a towel. <laughs> was that a good joke? That's great. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good one, guys. That might have been a stretch, but I just walked in and there's three dudes with their shirts off. It's only awkward because your shirt's not off. It's only awkward because. You're right. <laughs> Later. The savage himself is back home, guys. Yo, make sure you guys swoop one of these up. Donuts.com, be a savage, be positive, be happy, and be you. I haven't promoted you guys in a long time. We dropped new merch, as you guys have all seen. Bam, 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 bam. By far, the message on this channel, be positive, be happy, be you. I know there's so much negativity going on in the world, and I appreciate you guys, the members of the donation, for always being positive. No drama, baby, and savagery. Let's go. Oh, roses are red, violets are blue. Does your mama know I am? Talking to you? Okay, I'll stick to vlogging and making like songs and stuff. How about not the poetry? But anyways, let me fill you in with life itself because I know I miss Wednesday, guys. A lot of things happening right now for the donation. Getting the podcast ready for you. It takes a little bit of time. As I mentioned, I'm good at video and I've never really done audio, so trying to figure that out, get the set ready. Also wrapped up season one of my show, Hashtag Relatable, on Facebook, and we're gonna start season two very, very soon. I have some really, really cool projects in the works for this season. I am like, I'm so excited. I burped. I am so excited for what's to come, guys. If you guys aren't following my hashtag relatable page, I post skits on there four times. <laughs> I drank coconut water and I'm burping, I don't know why. I post skits on there four times a month and they're like, they're hashtag relatable. That's why I call the show that. That's so hashtag relatable. So be ready for a really dope season two on there. Follow my page and like it, share it, support it, guys. Cause it's pop, pop. Also, I haven't forgotten about the car guys. I'm still looking at the Range Rover and a couple other options I appreciate all of your help with that with the leasing with the buying. What do I do not to mention? I've been looking at a house I mentioned that earlier in the vlog lease is up here May 11th I just there's so many things going on in life right now And I'm so excited for you guys to be a part of it. This is the time to be a member of the donation So hit that subscribe button Man Hi. Oh, look at that. She's wearing the Skull Hoodie exclusive on domes.com. Tell the people what's up. Look at this. Podcast room is ready. You're ready. What are you doing? What are you watching? Some Broad City or some shit? No, I'm actually watching a TED talk about burnout and saying yes to shit and making cool shit. That sounds like the most exciting thing you've ever done in your life. That's not true. I've done a lot of exciting things, Mark. <laughs> I was on Sesame Street as a kid. I'm cool. No, you weren't. Yes, I was in 1988. Bullshit. Mm -hmm. Play the clip. I don't have it with me. Oh! oh. Words of you. No. You sleep with the blind. Shut, you can't be trusted. I literally got my head by the window. Yeah, you're true. Guys, I actually like to sleep with the blinds open so when the sun comes in, I am forced to wake up or I sweat. Like, 
If you're in here and the sun's just blasting in because it rises over there. That is where the sun rises and it just blasts into my window right there. I don't know if you can actually see me right now, but I am forced to wake up. This balcony out here has turned into a desk storage unit. I need to do another surprise. Wait, I can't. Did you do this all yourself? I had help. Why are you so damn cute? Got the deuces neon right there. Shouts to Sammy Taylor. Anyways, right here, let me sit. Yo guys, so since I've been so busy, this is just going to be kind of an update vlog. And I want to address a couple of things. Let me zoom out here. I'll get back to you with a normal vlog on Monday. And also guys, you will not be seeing Kylie in the vlogs for like another two weeks because she is going to Dubai and then somewhere else. So she's gonna Miss Traveler over here, Miss World Traveler. I'm really excited for her because she really loves to travel guys. She's gonna have a really good time. Dubai, you know, I just went there. It was really cool. And then the other place she's going to, I think she's keeping it a secret and she'll let you guys know. Comment down below. Where do you think Kylie is going next? I can't tell you, but you can guess. But anyways, I was on YouTube today and I was watching a video by Casey Neistat and there was this article published about telling parents to tell their kids if they want to be a YouTuber that no, that's not a thing that's going to happen. Crush their dreams. Like, I know a lot of people that watch me, a lot of people that watch YouTube in general, we, you guys want to be YouTubers and you can become a YouTuber. And the reason that they said that you shouldn't become a YouTuber is because it's hard to make money on YouTube now and it's getting a lot harder to make money on YouTube right now. And I know that can be discouraging, but at the end of the day, guys, you have to understand that you don't start YouTube to make money. Like I didn't start YouTube. I didn't start Instagram. I didn't do any of that to make money. I wasn't making any money when I first started. I was doing skits because I like, I wanted to show my creative vision and talk to you guys and just make people laugh, make people smile. And like, it was a side thing for me that it was, I was just passionate about. For example, when I started the skits, I was still working. I was doing stuff for Ariana Grande. I was doing stuff for Tidal. I was doing the app, the music app, Jay-Z's music app. I was doing stuff, I did stuff for Sierra. Like I was a photographer, a behind the scenes person doing this job that I got paid for. And then on the side, I was making skits. I was taking pictures. I was doing my Instagram stories. And then eventually that transformed into making YouTube videos, like just showcasing my talents and being able to like reflect and, and remember in 20 years these days that I'm filming is insane because I can watch any vlog that I've ever filmed and I can remember that day. And I think that's really, really cool. So getting into YouTube to start, you shouldn't be doing it for the money. And if you immediately make it about money, you probably aren't going to become successful. If you go into YouTube, like, look, I want to make money. That's not a good start because you're going to get discouraged. And I know it's really hard to become a YouTuber these days. When I first started, it was like a new wave of vlogging. It was becoming very popular. I got in it at the right time. And now it's a little bit saturated. A lot of people are doing it. Who do I watch? Why do I watch them? There's a lot of of people to choose from there's a lot of expectations I think guys if you're if you're looking to start a YouTube channel just stay true to yourself and make what you want to make right for example I like doing cinematic things I like making jokes I like the memes I like telling a story I like just having fun and, and showcasing my talents my angles my editing that's what I enjoy doing you know other people like doing challenge videos other people like doing makeup videos find it what it is what you like and make it unique to yourself I think it's cool to watch other things to get ideas like I watch movies a lot and just kind of get ideas for like camera angles and shot types. I don't necessarily watch a lot of other creators because I want to stay true to myself and do something that, you know, is my idea and my vision. But that's just a personal choice. Obviously, I still watch other creators and I try to get inspired by things that they're doing and I see the hustle. I think the most thing that inspires me is the hustle of other people. I see people posting every day that, that encourages me. Yo, I gotta post every day. I gotta keep up with that hustle. And don't get discouraged, guys, because obviously this is a very difficult business. Now that it's become a business. Like I said, I first started this just for the fun of it. Then it became a business. And then you get discouraged because you're not meeting your expectations and whatnot. It's like, it's a roller coaster when you're your own boss because some months will be great, some months will be bad, some months will be in the middle, some months great. It's just always like this and you have to really learn how to deal with that and that's not something that people see when they watch YouTube. They don't understand everything that goes behind it. For example, this video today, like I had so many meetings, I have so many other things going on. You guys don't see that, it's, it's boring stuff. I talk about it, but it's boring. If you want to become a successful YouTuber in 2018, 2019, you just have to hustle, work hard, be creative and follow your dream and your passion. Don't let other people tell you what you can and can't do. That's why I always say on this channel, guys, be positive, be happy, and be you. Be you, period, guys. Don't be anybody else but yourself. And if you need someone to push you, take this. I'm gonna push you guys. Go outside if you wanna become a YouTuber and create a video. Make it about whatever you wanna be. The snow, school, work, an awareness video on, for example, if I'm going to make an awareness video, it'll be on Alzheimer's. My grandmother had Alzheimer's. Research something, spit back. Give me something educational, post it, and uh, yeah, just tweet it to me or something. Like, I encourage you guys to become a YouTuber and fight past what the article says and what other people say that you can't do something because you you can, guys, you can grab life by this camera right here and film it because you're gonna remember this in 20 years. You're gonna be like, damn, that was 
That was some damn good advice, Mark. And while you're at it, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, join the donation, guys. I appreciate you so much. Be a savage, be you. And I will see you guys all on Monday with a, with a brand new vlog. So until then, say with me one time. Deuces!